Welcome to the introduction to the GS1 system of standards. We will review who is GS1 and how we make it possible for companies worldwide to speak in a single global language of business. GS1 is a federation of member organizations in over 110 countries that have come together to make it possible for industries and companies to move their business forward through the adoption and use of GS1 standards. Adopt and use information standards to revolutionize how companies collectively do business. Today, over 2 million companies worldwide use GS1 standards, resulting in that now universally recognized beat. Each and every day, over 5 billion barcodes are scanned. In the U.S., DataDriver has been used to assign UPCs to 6 million products. In addition, 10 million products are registered by brand owners in the Global Data Synchronization Network, or GDSN, in order to share product information among multiple retailers. GS1 US is the member organization that serves over 250,000 businesses from across 25 industries in the United States. Industries from healthcare to food services, apparel to grocery, aerospace and defense, just to name a few. This support is made up of four primary activities. The first, leading initiatives at the request of industry to determine how GS1 standards can be leveraged to the benefit of industry as a whole. Second, administering and interpreting the GS1 system of standards for use in the U.S. Third, providing our membership base with tools and training to make using the GS1 standards easy. And finally, creating the opportunity for our members to come together to share experiences and learnings through events and online forums. In addition, GS1 US is the pioneer of the UPC, which has been used commercially for nearly 40 years. In order to better serve our members, we are organized into two separate but complementary organizations. One group focuses on the adoption and usage of GS1 standards. The other, through our joint venture One World Sync, provides services and solutions designed to help companies manage their product data. As a user-driven organization, we engage communities and companies to help solve supply chain issues. Additionally, we invite leading companies across the industry to sit on the Board of Governors to provide guidance and direction. While the use of the UPC barcode has been in place for nearly 40 years, GS1 standards continue to evolve and address the changing needs of industry. Through various industry initiatives, GS1 facilitates industry collaboration and innovation to define how GS1 standards will be used and works with the broader community to create awareness for the entire industry. So, what are the GS1 standards and what do they do? GS1 standards create a single global language to identify items such as products or documents, capture this information via defined data carriers, and share it among and between business entities. Let's look at each one of these capabilities in more detail. GS1 standards enable companies to uniquely identify various elements and relationships in the supply chain, from manufacturer to consumer, and it all starts with the GS1 company prefix. This number, of varying length, identifies one and only one company. From the company prefix, individual products can be identified through the creation of a global trade item number, or G10 or serialized global trade item numbers. Locations, or GLNs, define factories, distribution centers, retailers, and other locations. Companies can also create serial shipping container codes, or SSCCs, to track their products from the factory floor to the store shelf. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. GS1 standards allow for so much more than this. From that same company prefix, companies can identify corporate assets, either individual assets or returnable assets, documents, and service relationships. Now that numbers have been created to identify items, there are various data carriers that can be used, depending on what and how much information needs to be shared, to represent the information. Let's briefly look at each one of these. The most commonly recognized data carrier is the UPC barcode. This is the barcode that is used for point of sale. GS1 Data Bar carries more information in less space than the UPC barcode and was created to identify small and hard-to-mark products such as loose produce, jewelry, and cosmetics. 
The GS1 data bar can also carry serial numbers, lot numbers, and expiration dates to support product authentication and traceability, product quality and effectiveness, and couponing. GS1 Data Matrix is a two-dimensional barcode that holds large amounts of data in a relatively small space. These barcodes are used primarily in aerospace, pharmaceuticals, medical device manufacturing, and by the U.S. Department of Defense. This data carrier is not used at point of sale. The ITF-14 barcode, easily recognized by the barrier bars, are used to uniquely identify units such as cartons, cases and pallets, and help manage fast and accurate tracking of inventory. Items marked with the ITF-14 symbol are not intended for point of sale. And the GS1-128 barcode, similar to the ITF-14, is used to encode product data for units such as cartons, cases, pallets, and reusable packaging and transport equipment. It also helps manage fast and accurate tracking of inventory. Unlike the ITF-14, specific information can also be encoded in the GS1-128 barcode, such as best before date, batch and lot number, serial numbers, and the serial shipping container code. As with the ITF-14, GS1-128 symbols are not intended to pass through point of sale. GS1 has worked with the user and solution provider communities to define radio frequency identification, RFID, technical standards for how RFID tags and readers communicate and exchange information. These technical standards are better known as error interface protocols. There are two EPC global technical standards in this area, UHF and HF. In addition to standards for identifying and capturing information on items, interface standards are also defined to allow for that one common language for product information to be shared through the supply chain. Let's review the three types of data shared. The first is master data. The Global Data Synchronization, or GDSN, enables the sharing of accurate and up-to-date data and information among trading partners. For example, any changes made to one company's database are automatically and immediately provided to trading partners. GDSN ensures that all partners have access to the same accurate information. The second type is transactional data. Electronic Data Interchange, or EDI, enables the computer-to-computer -computer exchange of business documents between companies as a standard format, regardless of the computer or software each company is using. In effect, EDI bridges the gap between companies and systems and uses message standards to ensure everyone uses a common language. Extensible Markup Language, or XML, allows for the electronic transmission of those business documents in a format that's readable both to machines and people. XML is vital to e-commerce because it enables communications of business information through electronic messages that are understood by different program applications. And finally, physical event data. An EPC, or electronic product code, provides a unique serialized identifier for any kind of product, any kind of object. Electronic Product Code Information Services, EPCIS, is a standard for sharing EPC-related information with trading partners. As you can see, GS1 standards make it possible we make collaboration possible by bringing together industry stakeholders, developing information standards, and encouraging their adoption and implementation, identifying, articulating, resolving, and sharing industry issues and best practices, and ensuring the representation from all stakeholders in the supply chain. We make efficiency possible by pervasively deploying GS1 standards across the supply chain, which increases the amount of accurate data available, and helping companies automate internal and external processes. We make safety possible by standardizing the identification of products, assets, and locations, facilitating the sharing of that information between trading partners, increasing visibility and thereby traceability, supporting the 2011 Food Safety Modernization Act, and endorsing pedigree requirements for pharmaceuticals. And finally, we make visibility possible. 
by providing the foundational standards for technology behind business processes and applications, by facilitating the exchange of common visibility data, and by helping to accurately answer the what, when, where, and why of a specific product's movement. GS1 standards for identifying, capturing, and sharing information about products, business locations, and more make it possible for companies to speak the same language, connect with each other, and move their business forward.